From the Alps to the Carpathians, from the Nordic mountains to the Pyrenees and Iberian mountains, Europe's geography, and indeed Europe's, Europe's history, has been defined by our mountains. When innate Europeans live in the mountainous areas, which cover more than a quarter of the European Union, in the mountains, it is challenging to provide infrastructure and public services. Economic opportunities have long been limited in many of them, and many young people leave them. But I firmly believe that mountain regions have, or can have, a bright future. I see new opportunities in new sectors. Coming from digitalization, building on the high quality of life in mountain areas, expanding sustainable tourism, just to quote a couple of them. To build on these opportunities, European cohesion policy is investing a lot in mountain areas. We invest in local economy, in renewable energy, in transport links, in sustainable tour tourism, in access to public services, including health services, and in much, much more. And we will continue these investments in the coming years. In formulating new programs, we are paying particular attention to mountain areas. Mountain people are innovative. They are, they have to be resilient. With our support, they will go a long way. My thanks to Euromontana for providing all these excellent examples of our support. European cohesion policy will continue to work so that no mountain region is left behind and that all prosper and thrive in the green and digital economy. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>